thanks for wonderful uh, garden tour it's really inspiring mostly it looked like we went back to india and came <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really i can see the walkway what you had a compound wall with gate and it's it's really remembering my home that's nice you had a bunch of uh, good collection of uh, indian variety which i was yeah. asking you the um what you uh, you planted the avaraka root right you said it's hibernating i was about to ask you to show me again you can send me a picture later if you yeah i will okay yeah Yeah, we will continue our discussion in the uh, group yeah. chat, right? Like uh, yeah. on our uh, WhatsApp group. Yeah. Okay. So, in give a quick intro about yourself, uh, Saraswati, and then start your session. Yeah, I'm Saraswati Taragram. Um, I'm from Frisco, Texas. So, we know Arivana uh, for more than eleven years now, and I do. Hello, are you? Yes. Okay. I'm arranging my mic properly. Okay. so after here um growing along with the season is a uh, quite challenging in dallas with a lot of my tropical plants and then i get in the uh, hooked into fall gardening after that so go gel along with the weather and all the other thing availability in the local so yeah i have quite a little knowledge about gardening and, and i'm happy to share here so we can continue with the fall gardening So how? Uh, I'm just okay. So first thing, why we need to start a fall gardening? What what makes you to think about fall fall gardening? To me, fall gardening is to give an opportunity us to grow our own food year long, staying in Texas, so we can at least match to grow. uh during winter we can harvest winter as well as early spring so i choose for all gardening is more pleasing with the temperature you know you like uh, cold weather temperature fall gardening also may, makes us feel comfortable in the garden work uh, work in the garden so the temperature is so pleasing with less effort and sweat you can grow ambient uh, ambula uh, amount of uh, harvest you can take bunch of harvest from your garden and less maintenance when i ca compare here about less maintenance i refer to watering even though i'm uh, automated my garden with irrigation i still love to water my plant self watering so that time is less in fall gardening you know we flower will water our plant for 3 to 4 days in 3 to 4 days that too is depends on the soil uh, soil condition if it is too dry we will water or not you don't need to work on you don't want to keep up on uh, checking the plants like what we do in summer and another one is the other thing is less pests to deal with as it is now all the pests will enter into a hibernating process they all uh, you don't see much pest what you see in spring because they will come back from hibernation and lot of new bugs we will see in spring and for summer where you you won't deal with much of the pest still you can see winter moth as a, as a, um, nature is amazing you can still deal with some few uh, winter winter moths butterflies and uh, caterpillars still it is all uh, controllable even aphids you can see if your garden is already with aphids affected by aphids and uh, cutworms you still deal with in fall but it's all uncontrollable so you don't uh have a hard time to pest control them and another thing uh, application of inse insecticides and you don't have any particular window you have a larger window where in summer we have to do it in the early morning or early night sorry uh, the um, radish carrot peas and chard variety greens most of the greens we can grow that is really good chard variety and then um Uh, mustards uh, spinach even indian spinach will grow very well uh, watercress arugula lots of greens has a wonderful uh, saraswati try the uh, share right now sorry one second ana also one more thing when you said spinach uh -huh. uh, the spinach that we have grown or we have growing now in the summer does it still do good because this is my first year growing spinach properly 
so the spinach or uh, the chirai or kirai whatever is on the like it will still produce in fall right yeah it will still produce in fall but not uh, till your first frost date you know but some so variety they will slow down right like uh, the indian variety yeah, of uh, indian variety will sl slow down very kirai right like they will slow down with the heat as well as they will slow down with uh, with the age what she is talking about is the uh, spinach varieties which are uh, particular for fall gardening fall fall gardening or spring gardening right like early yeah yeah early also spring. charts will be uh, whether the all the plants that will take the cold yeah that's why we have an opportunity for summer we can grow summer greens like uh, totakura uh arakirai sirikirai and all but for winter you have to switch to your green meats with chards mustards uh, mustard seeds and um fenugreek even if fenugreek it will withstand the cold and uh, arugula for salad corn salad all those stuff so yeah, when do you do coriander do you do you start yeah, coriander coriander yeah coriander also will do good you can start in uh, september end i usually put it in september end for our dallas timing so i um, i have one quick hey. question uh -huh. uh for the fall garden uh, i mean i know it's august or september some vegetables are august you can plant directly the seeds in the bed but yeah. is there uh, i know that i have i'm following the dates where the, the my area dates when to start uh -huh. the you know based on the vegetables but the spinach variety you're talking about is it like i have to have a a root already from summer or i can start the seeds fresh no you can start the seeds you can start the seeds so i'll i'll go back to screen sharing so this okay. will you know it it's i structured it way so we can keep the q and a session later so it will be easier to understand before what we plan yeah, I wonder, and, yeah know? exactly yeah. yeah yeah so the fall gardening i categorize them into three p's like planting planning planting and pollinators so planting where you have to uh, decide what to plant in your garden so what your family uh, interested to eat or what you like to grow and when when is the key success for the fall gardening so it's all depends on when you plant so and another planting is where and how so where to plant your seeds and how to plant how means in which space distance and how long with companion plants which companion plants naturally help the planting in uh, fall gardening successfully not only in fall garden companion plants helps the they companion each other and grow together and pollinators finally pollinators even though they are not doing much work here in fall garden but uh, still we have to create a friendly environment for them to uh, give a great start in next season for spring and summer to help our garden alive throughout the season so yeah next when you consider to a fall gardening it's mostly it comes to brassica family so brassica family means if you consider these are the brassica family vegetables broccoli brussels sprouts cauliflower and here you can see some of the root vegetables like uh, turnip kohlrabi rubarba and, uh, and some of the greens like watercress kohlrad greens mustard greens etc so it's all comes under the brassica family still they are categorized into three because of their uh, growing period you know some of these brassica family need a longer growing period to harvest and some need very few uh, moderate and uh, another one is lesser when you say a uh, longer time it takes more than uh, three months two and a half months to three months like so you can find that all those details uh, in your uh, date in your packet seed packet at the back side of the packet you know it will say the maturity date so you have to calculate your planting by based on your maturity date so it, here it's how it works you have to find out your frost date first frost date of the place where you live so for us it's mostly november time for dallas it's november 20th but i took it here this column which i'm showing is a um, frost date what i pinned so it's mostly it's uh, for this year it's 22nd of november but in in the uh, excel sheet what you're seeing i pinned it for november 15th so you have to calculate go backwards 
to sow your seeds. So if for here, if you see in the uh, in the packet, the maturity days goes to 65 days. Can you see if you see here, it shows 65 days for the beads. This is a bead variety. It's a garment blend variety. It says 65 days. So if your frost date is, um, first frost date is 20, uh, 20, 20th of November, you have to calculate backward. So it, it almost comes to, so it's uh, November, uh, November, October and September. You have to plant it in first week of September. For example, you have beads here, I don't know, for beads on the topmost, the frost date is 11, 15, and then it maturity date is 65. So you have, you have to start your uh, beet seeding around August 20th, that is somewhere this week. So, and also beets will uh, hold transplant very well, so you can start it in a small container and then you can transplant it. So you have to find out your first fr um, frost date of the your cattle panel. And then you, the you have a lot of planting calculator. Uh, oh, can you, others, can you mute yourself, please? Donna, can you go on? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's okay. So there are few, uh, a lot of planting calculator available in, uh, uh, in uh, online. You can choose that and find out. Because um, for a uh, generic, you can find out, no, for a uh, frost date, you have to calculate backwards for transplant eight weeks and seedling away from uh, 16 weeks before. So for each and everything you have to work. So planting calculator will help much easier. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, get it online or you can uh, message me privately so I can share it with you. And then back again, cabbage family needs longer time. Like the yellow, yellow bar, what you see here, they, and they continue throughout still, they starts in August 20th and uh, you can still harvest till early spring March. And the root vegetable like beets, um, on, uh, radishes, Italy, it needs a moderate time to produce. So you can go anywhere between, for particular radish variety, you can harvest as early as in 20 days itself. So it depends on the variety also. So radish are very easy vegetable to grow and uh, beets and uh, radishes takes, carrots takes two months to harvest. So they are all under the moderate vegetable uh, tab. And another one is Greek, greens. All the greens, what we spoke, kale, uh, switch card, mustard, and a lot of uh, watercress. Those varieties will har we can harvest very early from day 20 to day 45. You, it's almost they matured, and they. So you have to plan accordingly for uh, roots vegetables like radishes and greens. You have to work on like a badges. So in each every two weeks interval, you have to plant, and you can continue if you. If you miss the frost date, for example, see August 20th is the frost uh, planting for beets and you still can, if you miss that and you don't know your harvesting period overlap your uh, harvested time, what we uh, say here, you still can uh, seed them because uh, it will continue to grow in winter and you can uh, expect it in early spring uh, harvest. That's the beautiful beauty of this fall gardening. Even though you miss in winter harvest, you can get you can get the second harvest in spring. So, so what happens on the frost winter. date? Since Sorry. we uh, since I, I'm in Dallas, we, uh, we won't get much no much uh, frost. So it's all the frosting temperature. Also, it won't go below uh, double digit. So it's always in a single digit and that two for two hours or three hours. So it doesn't it not it affect much. For example, if uh, cabbage are growing and you got a frost for longer for a half a day, it will get uh, leaf burn. Like what we get, do, uh, what the plants will get heat burn. Same thing will happen on the linos of their cabbage. So it still grow because all the root, uh, fall vegetables, the roots has a tendency to uh, withstand more temperature below 15. I think below 15. So. It, it still it will stop growing and uh, grow, go dormant and come back again. 
that's the reason you should not plant for potatoes because what it will do it will grow it will uh, shoot bulbs but once it fr frost comes it will stop growing there and all its leaves wilt and again it's concentrate on growing the leaves instead of growing the bulb so potatoes are more more meant to spring uh, gardening yeah yeah ariana you are about to ask something no well, actually uh, you answered my question along with uh, the other one right like so they that does that answer your question like his question was about what will happen during the frost right correct because uh, i think i'm i'm new to this frost day time i'm not familiar with it so the way okay. i understood so, was at the frost day the plants will die that's the way we, you no, have to no, harvest no, no. before frost uh, any tropical plant right like the die. indian variety plants right all those things will die mid uh, november or uh, Mm -hmm. uh, close to end of november when the uh, uh, for uh, for dalla seeds mm -hmm. right so what uh, saraswati is saying is even with uh, the fall uh, frost right mm -hmm. like uh, the winter crop the fall crops or the winter crops they will continue to grow as root hardy yeah no but still uh, the the harvest wouldn't happen right so the harvest yeah. Yeah. happen before frost date then it yes. might plant might uh, stop growing or it might die partially and then come back again that's what is saying after yeah. the frost date so yeah that's yeah that's exactly the date is yeah yeah if you plant according to the frost date you you will harvest in before uh, in winter harvest you will have a winter okay. harvest if not it will still grow but you will harvest in uh, spring only so the problem is it, it goes back to the other question right right now we are means we have minimal beds right we already have summer crops growing there right mm -hmm. so do we plant these uh, fall crops along in the same bed uh, so or otherwise do you maintain two different beds for uh, summer and this one so yeah. how to have no. yeah uh, for what i will do what i practice now you know i i will sacrifice some of the uh, wind, uh, for mm -hmm. summer, summer vegetables like a uh, eggplant okay. i'll i'll move, if i have 10 make plants i will move uh, i will move uh, some of them in the pot so some i will okay. just pull it out so you have to sacrifice because of the uh, space constraint mm -hmm. or you can for carrots and radish you can do it in container gardening also it doesn't need much space so okay. if you loving to do along with your summer without sacrificing anything you can go with, switch to container gardening so that will mm -hmm. also help Even also, most of uh, the bigger it. plants you can grow in a car, grow bag or something like what are the other fall crops you can grow in a grow bag like carrots and radishes. Is there anything else? Beets. Uh, even I can see onions. So even onions, garlic doesn't comes to you no know, brassica families. They also grow good. You can do it in country because but the amount the amount you how much you uh, plant them will reduce according to your space. Yeah. And, and so that's only one question. Uh -huh. uh on the uh, on the planting going back to the All bed bed question mm -hmm. uh i have like uh, two three beds which is like one is 6 hours of sun one is 2 hours of sun so does it really matter what what yeah. how much sun it has to take and because it's still summer i don't want to get exposed too much and will die right so if no, i yeah, plant in the yeah of course bed. of course that's a nice question because even it is fall uh, fall so winter vegetables it need at least 6 hours of uh, minimum sunlight no so all if you get more sunlight your roots will become bigger rather than giving lot of leaves if it's less uh, sunlight your leaves will grow bigger with less roots you no know, for beets and uh, radishes you don't want them to go lot uh, give lot of leaves rather than bulb so you have to pl uh, plant it where you get advocate of uh, amount of sunlight so minimum 6 hours okay and right. then and then you said um, i missed that question what you ask can you come again you ah. asked about this spacing yeah. spacing yeah spacing is like i'm i'm going to reuse the bed where i'm summer crop is right now and various uh -huh. sun sunlight is coming one is 4 hours one is 2 hours one is 6 hours so yeah, yeah. i was saying that whether i can reuse i mean the same question the other person asked i am going to reuse the same soil uh, mm -hmm. maybe pluck out some but should i nutrient the soil or do something because i don't know what dry roots are there inside and will it really help my winter garden crops grow should yeah, i do it depends on the plants what you put you know so see if in case if you are planting near the avarai or anything it will take care of greens very well you don't want to amend your soil 
okay? okay but if you are growing in potassium it's like a potato it's it's potassium rich uh, soil to my knowledge if you you have to work along with what uh, vegetable will be favorable in that spot that's why we we will talk about the companion plants which companion which helps each other and moreover mm -hmm. no with brassica families you can companion with garlic uh, because cabbage that's why we are here the planting method where and how where means you can sow it i'll, I'll just come back to your question again see uh, yeah Suresh, the answer is yes right like you have to amend the soil right like because the nutrients would have already been consumed by your fall so it's a general rule is yes right in addition to that uh, companion planting the peas yeah. and, nitrogen and all those things they will help so yeah if you also, start Andrew, uh, what, uh, also like yeah. uh, first time i'm trying the root uh, plants for winter mm -hmm. so uh, my depth of the soil in the bed is uh, probably six to six little over six inches so should mm -hmm. i increase the level for this because i can't increase because other crops are there in that it's like a you know i can't do that on the bed i'm just, can, just can, allotting the, the space if the container is for carrots which depends on what variety you grow if it is longer variety at least you need a one and a half 12 to 18 inches high pot you know and uh, and it's green for beets and uh, cabbage cabbage oh, of course that's, of that's of course uh, it's it, 10 inches 12 to 10 to 12 inches is good enough for green 6 inches is far better for them to grow so beets and the radishes still i have to have 12 inches you mean yeah hey just a quick question so we are removing uh -huh. uh, the spent watermelon and cantaloupe all those vines so sh should mm -hmm. i pull out the root or just cut the vine and keep the roots in the soil you can pull out the watermelon roots all those stuff because uh, peas uh, whatever you have the nitrogen fixing plant you can leave the roots so it will uh, fix the nitrogen uh, naturally oh. and uh, and another one thing uh, when you're planting root vegetables you have to apart from considering the space and height you have to consider the soil consistency the soil consistency should be loose that help okay. them to grow uh, easily penetrate inside the soil so you can you have to amend the soil with the sand or perlite which is available in the uh, home depot and costco and with some uh, fertilizer to it worm casting and whatever fertilizer you have to use and when uh, when i raise the fertilizer we, for uh, brassica families like cabbage everything you have to feed them every two weeks with any liquid fertilizers that will help them to give a, a big head when do you actually transplant uh, your sapling to the soil for these for the fall gardening okay see if for transplanting you can if you miss the uh, seedling so seedling date you can still grow your vegetable by transplanting either you can get it from your friends or from shop the transplanting date should be eight weeks before your frosting date, first frost date. So, so if you're doing with a seed, you're saying it'll be eight weeks before the frost date is when you move from the like the seed in a small pot yeah. to the raised bed will be eight weeks before the frost. Before date. the frost date, yeah, yes. So you can also do a seedling. You, the transplant date can also be a seedling so, uh, sowing date for mm -hmm. the spring gardening. You know, you can do either you can for transplanting will help you to harvest in the winter garden if you sow on the transplant uh, the transplant date it will help you to uh, harvest in the spring so in other words if i start now like august 20 let's say the date and i say uh, directly sow the seed now in a bed for beet and uh, mm -hmm. cabbage you, mm -hmm. uh, should i expect in winter before the frost date or in the april of course only? yes because you have to see the maturity date you know in that calendar what i shared before mm. i didn't I, the slideshow that has a maturity date maturity dates plays a very uh, big role because it's just 65 days for your that beet variety to get uh, nice harvest so you have to plan accordingly with your first frost date where do you see so if you if you want to start in august itself you can grow two batches of uh, beets variety so to get, you'll get uh, two batches of uh, harvest in winter so okay. whatever you mentioned as a uh, planting day the seeds you're saying you can directly place it in the lace bed itself we don't have to start it like inside or something and then move it out 
Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. For uh, whatever you sow, it's in August. Uh, if you are trying in uh, trays, you know, if you mm -hmm. try, uh, if you're planting, you're trying like seed uh, in a say a trays, you have to put it indoor because the heat, it won't withstand the heat what we're having now in the Texas. So you have to grow like under the window which Shade. has a, a number of uh, sunlight or under the grow light because it may become leggy if you keep it near the window so grow light uh, helps it with, uh, better so it will take two to four day four weeks for them to transplant it's not only that Correct. right like you are extending your uh, summer crop by another yeah. four weeks by growing the that's correct uh, starting the seed in a in a tray or in a pot right like yes. so you grow the plant well in the pot for another four weeks right like and then you you transplant it after a month, right? Like mid uh, uh, September. You September, transplant. yeah. September. So the beets that you mentioned on eight twenty, if I have to plant it, I'll be start. We can, we're basically starting it in a tray, and then for one month, we, it still grows in a tray or a pot, and then like yeah. mid September is when you're really moving it to the raised bed. Of course, yes, that's correct. But in between, you have to feed your seedling also. So it's not okay. only growing, you have to feed them. So then only it will help. Uh, how strong you grow your seedling, it will last for your spring also. So oh, wow. right now okay. it's not two degrees of uh, temperature, yeah. right? Which is uh, why I was like, well, like 100 degrees, how will they survive? That is why I was going with this question. No, no, okay. no you, have like... to, you have to uh, do it indoor. So temperature. So indoor, uh, keep it indoor for a month, whatever uh, I'm expecting on a, a fall crop. Mm -hmm. uh, starting from today let's say even today or next week better mm -hmm. to grow inside and uh, keep fertilizing it and then plant it next month september mid see it's it's uh, it depends on the plants beets take a uh, transplant very well where carrot won't no carrot peas peas also loves to directly sow on the soil rather than mm -hmm. uh, uh, seedling an onion like transplanting so it depends on the plant uh, vegetable what you select okay even if so I keep case, it inside uh, for a month, I still have to expose the expose it to sun for at least a couple of hours, right, in a day. No, you don't need because they allow they are colder vegetables. For no. summer, what we'll do is spring we train the plants to get used to the heat, sunlight. But winter, it's uh, upside down where it's already cold, and they will they will grow very in minimal light for six no, hours. No, he's of talking sunlight. about Sarasad, He's talking about um, heat starting now in mm -hmm. in the indoors, and then uh, transplanting next month. Getting the plant used to the sunlight for some time, right? Like hardening, years. like yeah. a seed. Yeah. You don't transplant need hardening. Yeah. Okay, you don't need to because I didn't try that because I. Uh, see it is so indoor and just planted directly if you have that any concern on that you can leave them under the shade for uh, hardening them that's yeah. what i thought yeah i have plenty of shade so i can move around that pot yeah that will also uh, help yeah okay. yeah once now when they give a true leaves you can do that once they get the true leaf you can uh, okay. move the Suresh, if you have a lot of space just try both right do a direct sowing yeah, yeah just what yeah. i thought I'm, I'm going to try both bed and inside whichever you know, tax presidents, let's see. That's what okay. I'm trying. Yeah. So most of your questions have uh, answered here, I think. The seed indoor and transplanting and direct sowing. So it depends on the plants, what you, I think it's going to end. I mean, <laughs> okay. Uh, if you can repeat that, uh, Saraswati, the, uh, you said if I seed that directly into the bed, I have to uh, nutrient, I uh, have to add some nutrients. Like you said sand. What, yeah. What else you said? No, for amending the soil, you have to mix amend with soil, mm -hmm. uh, or you can go ahead with perlite. Perlite okay. is a perlite. source uh, medium which uh, loses your soil okay. and keeps the soil very well drained, so it won't stag any water, and also the roots uh, penetrate very easily. If you are not able to amend or you are you are not having much idea about that, you can go to potting soil and still even using a potting soil, I will amend my potting soil with perlite for okay. the root vegetables. So that will help them to easily grow and make them space to grow very well. Okay. Saraswati, how many more minutes do you need uh, to cover the rest of the topics? Another, I need another 30 minutes, 30 another 30. Yeah. yeah, another session, I think. Yeah, yeah maybe we'll uh, rejoin. I think that's a good idea. Maybe next week, another session. 
Okay. Or tomorrow it's possible. We are interrupted with a lot of Q and A. No, I'm 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 okay with tomorrow also. We yeah, can tomorrow do it tomorrow. Better, I think. Same timing we can do at ten o'clock. I'm okay with tomorrow. Okay. So if you guys need any uh, calculator or any list of vegetables which transplant well and direct sowing, if anything you need it, I can help you out. I can create one and I can share in this group. That would be great. Thank you, Saraswati. Yeah, probably I'm going to ping you That's more, Saraswati. Great, yeah. And show you my Saraswati, uh, do you have the list of varieties rather than say, for example, beetroot? Uh, uh -huh. I would say, yeah, Detroit Ruby Red yeah. is really good. So, do you have the variety names or just yeah, the name of the vegetables? No, oh, I you have, have the variety, variety names. Okay, I will send it. Okay, I will thank send you. you that also, or uh, I will send the link where you get all those stuff. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's Thank share you. that information in the group. The, uh, okay. so I'll, group. I'll send it to you so you better share it because I'm very bad at uh, tracking my messages. So I'll send to Anna and Anna will do it. Yeah, I will do that. Okay. So tomorrow at the same time, Anna, 10 o'clock? Yeah. Let's that, yeah. Okay. So in the meantime, okay. let, the, let people start collecting the seeds and uh, start sowing the seeds, right? Like, so we'll answer more questions tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate thank your time. Thank you. Thank you so much, thank guys. You, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Anna. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Arriva, this is a nice thing. Uh, people will learn more. Right? That's thank you, the reason, right? Yeah. Thank you guys, yeah.